Well, I thought I'd make a short video uh, just describing my uh, how I power everything, whether I'm in town or like I am right now out on BLM land where I've been for about five days uh, here in Arizona. Just to let you see how I keep everything running um, as far as the uh, on the electric side. First off, I like to use solar, although I don't have a uh, permanent solar panel system mounted in the vehicle. Uh, there's an old, really old solar panel on the roof that doesn't put out anything. Uh, I think it's probably about a, less than 100 watts, and it's probably been there about 10 years. Um, so I've been using a flexible, foldable, folding uh, solar panel. 120 watts as you can see on the uh, on the front windshield there I can set it up you know if I'm camp or park someplace in the shade it's nice to be able to just find some sunlight set it up and hook it up to the battery to charge so that's my primary when I'm out out in the middle of nowhere however there are times when I'm in town and uh, maybe visiting family and then I'll just be able to plug into shore power. This vehicle, an old ambulance, um, like most most uh, RVs and ambulances, is set up to run on shore power. So I can either plug it in when I'm at family uh, to their, you know, their house current, or I can run the generator right here and uh, charge everything. Now, in town, I typically don't use the generator just because it's so loud and I don't want to get it out and, you know, worry about it, having to lock it up and everything. Um, so then I'll either use solar or just the shore power at family and friends. Um, if I'm at a campground, I try not to use the generator as well. I don't really like the noise of that uh, running, but I'll use it, you know, if I have to, say, run some tools, some power tools, um, or like today I uh, trimmed my hair, you know, used some electric clippers that use a lot of power, and I was charging all the batteries, so I plugged in the generator. Um, I'm out pretty much nowhere where nobody, it doesn't bother anybody, so I ran it for a while. Uh, the solar panel and shore power, everything can charge this battery down here. As you can see, it's hooked up right now to the solar panel out front. Um, but again, it can be, if I'm in, plugged into shore power, there is a battery charger that'll charge it as well. And uh, it runs uh, a lot of stuff inside. Uh, there's a, a max fan. There's my fridge right there. Um, small fan up there. Uh, lights, things like that, they can run off that battery or they can again be run off the shore power if I need to. Um, I like redundancy. I like things that run off different systems. So this fridge, uh, I can charge it and run it off of solar, shore power, uh, generator, and it's got its own little lithium battery that if there is no power coming into it from anywhere else, that lithium battery um, with the little green light on there will run it for about 10 hours. Now, um, so I've got solar, I've got shore power, uh, I've got the generator. Another thing that I can use also, and this will I'll use to run, say, um, laptops or charge batteries, is a uh, portable power station. This is, I think, a 924 watt hour uh, lithium battery. And it's, I've heard them called portable power stations. Some call them solar chargers. Uh, Goal Zero and a lot of other companies make them as well. Um, Energy, or I think it's a company called Energy. This one's from Midland. And it, uh, Basically, it's a, a you know a portable lithium 
battery with a charge controller and an inverter uh, built into it that you can run AC or DC uh, products or uh, items off of equipment. Um, it's good though for for charging just you know camera batteries, uh, phones, laptops, and I, I try not to use it a whole lot. It's kind of like a backup. You know, if I really need to at night run stuff and I don't have anything else, say my other batteries not not working, then I can take this out and plug things into it and run it. Uh, it is nice that it's portable. I can take it out and put it out on a table if I need to and just to plug things into it. And um, this one comes in a case that makes it, I think, waterproof for... I you know, three feet or something. I'm to forget what it, uh, you know, if it's all sealed up, it, it, it makes it pretty, uh, it's a pretty rugged case. And so it's kind of nice to have as well. Um, again, this is just kind of my, uh, part of, you know, the whole, the whole system I have where I've got different ways of running things. Um, you know, if I'm driving on a long trip, I can charge my, my, fridge or run my fridge and charge batteries and items you know off the vehicle's alternator as well so that's another another uh, way of keeping everything running i do have a lot of items that are rechargeable you know radios things like that uh, that run off batteries that you know need to be charged every so often so that's kind of why i have this whole setup and uh it is nice that when I when I do plug into shore power or use the generator, then I can plug items into you know these outlets on the outside of the vehicle, or uh, there's outlets on the inside as well that I can plug into. So that's kind of a quick quick look at what I do right now. Uh, eventually, I will mount some some other uh, solar panels on the roof, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Not a lot of wiring, not a lot of uh, things that are, you know, that, that I, if I ever sell the vehicle or if I ever make, want to make changes, things that would require a lot of work to remove or to, to change or uh, move to another vehicle. I kind of like the plug and play idea and the mob mobility and transferability of, of items and uh, making it kind of simple, you know, that I, I can move around. So again, that's my setup. Um, and like I said, eventually I'll put a couple panels on the roof. I've got a big flat roof. I'm still kind of researching different types of panels and, uh, you know, sizes versus output and things like that. And those will charge that battery in the back there. Maybe I'll add another battery as well for more capacity. So that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any questions on any of the items that I have showed you today.